do this now, but then you could. And I, I, because I couldn't mail, I couldn't express mail the next day mail. So you flew so down there. I flew down to LA. I went to the place to we, uh, <laughs> event was, I mean, a uh, house payment. And I wrote a check for it because they took checks at the door. Well, you don't miss a payment. So, no, I, well, every other payment I missed. But anyway, so <laughs> I paid them there in cash. I flew back and so I was 20 minutes late. And Bill goes, why are you so late? And I go, oh, traffic. Mm -hmm. So I get home. You didn't even know she went to LA. No, mm -hmm. oh, no, I did. Carmen was sworn to secrecy. <laughs> All right, so so then I get home and everything's fine. The mailman's so worried about me because he's going, my gosh, how did you do? And I said, I did it. I flew down there. So anyway, so Bill and I, so Bill wow. and I had a huge fight, and we were going to get divorced. And anyway, um, he, when he found that I did that, he goes, "That's," and he's right about. But to make things. a long story short, he says, "You know, Sharon, I may have cheated on you, and I may have lied. To you. Now, now, my husband's been with a lot of different women. I mean, so I may have done things, but that's between you and me." He says, you jeopardized your kids' welfare, their house, and their security. He says, that is wrong. And I said, I don't really think it's that wrong because he's an asshole and, you know, and I needed to make myself happy <laughs> some way. So anyway, he says, don't ever tell that story again. I never want to hear that story because he found out from a friend. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, so uh, then we were going to get divorced. And he says, I can't divorce you. Because we don't even have enough equity in the house, so I can divorce you. Do you, do you, do you know how hard it is yeah, to be married to you? And I said, well, do you? <laughs> but these are things that I don't do now. But, you know, when you're unhappy, my, I, my mom was the type of person who was a great lady. You mm -hmm. love my mom. There's nobody that didn't love my mom. But she had a horrible temper. And so she did things where she's, she did things that wasn't right, but when she hit you or or physically threw a milk bottle or at somebody or whatever, she always bought you something. Mm -hmm. So every no, time I was sad, that, yeah. I learned to my That's mom. You, my mom did that. Yeah, you know, and so she 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 didn't mean to lose her temper, and she didn't even remember in, in her later years. But I. So the, uh, the psychiatrist that I went and saw one that was on Perse Park, the coolest dude, really. He goes, don't worry about your husband um, through this stuff. He's, he, he's not leaving you. He will try, but he won't. He says, but I really want to work with you on your money issues. He says, you really need to. And I says, okay, now you've heard what I've said. He said, yes. And I says, now... I'm going to, you tell me you're going to, he goes, going to go half. Only charged me $35. His fee was like 70 something. But he to said, make a long story short. He said, I, he says, how about that? And I said, but you know, if I see a cute pair of jeans or shoes, <laughs> I'm not going to pay you. I am going to buy those jeans and I'm going to owe you. He says, I know. And I said, see, it's not going to work. And he goes, no, I guess it will. And then, he, then I, I decided to go back to him because he was so cool. And he knew me and um, he wasn't there anymore. But Aww. I always think that he could have helped me. But he was cool. But then I didn't know, you know, but he was right about Bill. Bill never did leave, but maybe he, I, you Aww. know. But he That's was, a romantic story. It could have <laughs> been, like mm -hmm. she said, that $600 for the car. Because in those days, back in the 80s, the interest rates were like over. Oh, they were.